Let's solve this differential equation, and based on the look, it seems like we are dealing with an exact equation. However, we must do the check, right? Suppose this is indeed exact. That means there is a function, and we code that to be capital F, so that this represents the partial of f with respect to x, and this will represent the partial of f with respect to y. So make sure you match like this. And we have to check the mixed partial. If the mixed partials are the same, that means there is a capital F exists like that, and it is exact. So right here, I'm going to be differentiating this with respect to y. And let's see, we will have the 2x plus y over 1 plus x squared, y squared, like this. In this situation, y is the variable, x is the constant. The first term 2x, when we take the derivative of that, it becomes 0. And we just have to focus on this. We have y on the top and bottom. We have to use the quotient rule. But it's okay, we can do it. So let's put that in action. Let's square the denominator. We have 1 plus x squared, y squared, and then squared, right? And the quotient rule says, I'm going to bring the uh, bottom function right here, 1 plus x squared, y squared, we keep it like this. And we multiply by the derivative of the top. The derivative of y in the y world is just 1. So we multiply by 1. And then we minus, we keep the top function, which is just y. And we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of 1 plus x squared, y squared, in the y world, this becomes 0, x squared stays, bring the 2 to the front, so we have 2xy squared, 2x squared y, like that only, right? Bring the 2 to the front, and the x squared stays, and this is what we have. On the top, we can simplify things a little bit, so let's see, right here you multiply by 1, it doesn't really matter, so this is just 1 plus x squared y squared, and multiply this, you have minus y times y is y squared, so we have 2x squared y squared, so all in all, on the top, we have 1. This and that are like terms, so you can just subtract. So this minus that is just minus x squared, y squared, over that denominator. 1 plus x squared, y squared, and we square that. All right, let's do the partial with respect to x of this term. We have the x over 1 plus x squared, y squared, and here we have minus 2y. So, let's see what do we have. The first term, we have to use the quotient rule. With respect to x, let's square the denominator first. So we have 1 plus x squared, y squared, and then square that. And we keep the bottom, so we have 1 plus x squared, y squared. And we multiply by the derivative of x. In the x world, it's just 1. And then we subtract. We keep the x. And we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. The derivative 1 is 0. The derivative of x squared, y squared, in the x world, you bring the 2 to the front for the x, so you have this, 2x and then y squared, like that, okay? And the derivative of negative 2y in the x world is just 0, and this is what we have. And yes, they are the same, but I'll show you guys all the work. This is 1 plus x squared, y squared, minus this times that, which is minus 2x squared, y squared, so you know it's the same. 1 minus x squared, y squared, over 1 plus x squared, y squared, and we square that. Yes, this right here, it is exact. Okay, and now let's solve it. So begin with either one. This time, let me just begin with this right here. So I will write this down as, we know this is the partial of f with respect to x, and we know there's a capital F exists because this is an exact equation. So let me put this down as, this is equal to 2x plus y over that, 1 plus x squared, y squared, like this. What do we do next? Integrate, of course. Integrate both sides with respect to x. So let's put on dx on the side like that. Okay, so let's see. On the left-hand side, we just get capital F. And on the right-hand side, the integral of 2x in the x world is just going to give us x squared. The integral of this, y over 1 plus x squared, y squared is kind of hard, so I'll just show you guys this on the side. So let's focus on this right here. In order to integrate this, I have to set it up nicely. y on the top over 1 plus, I will put this as parentheses, let me put on y first, times x, and we square. And this is dx. 
And what I do next is I do u sub. I said u is equal to this right here, which is y times x. Keep in mind, in the x world, y is the constant. So if I differentiate this on both sides with respect to x, we'll just get y dx. So as you can see, this is pretty much just going to give us on the top, you have y dx, that's the du, right? y dx, that's the du. Over, this is 1 plus. This right here is the u. And we have that square. So what's the answer for this? Inverse tangent, right? Inverse tangent u. And u is what? u is x times y, y times x. Doesn't matter. At the end, I'll just put down nicely y, uh, x times y, like this. So, do the u substitution on the side if necessary and let me put that down right here for you guys which is the plus inverse tangent of xy for that integral what else do we need the constant in the x world a function in terms of y it's a constant so i'll put down plus g of y next we look at this and do the partial with respect to y and we set it equal to that right so let's go ahead and do that so let's do the partial with respect to y, and let's do that on both sides. On the left-hand side, we have partial of f with respect to y. In the y world, this is going to give you 0. And if you do the partial of this, so you will get um, the derivative of inverse tangent of something is first 1 over 1 plus inside square, right? So let me write it down like this, square. And the chain rule says you have to multiply by the derivative inside. The derivative of x, y in the y world. x is the constant, y is the variable, so you have to multiply by x. Okay? Anyways, and you, you are done with this part, and you differentiate g of y with respect to y, you get g prime of y. This right here, you are going to set this equal to what we have right here, which is the x over 1 plus x squared, y squared, minus 2y and you see this and that are the same that means g prime of y has to be the same as minus 2y so g prime of y is negative 2y of course we integrate both sides with respect to y now that means we can get g of y equal to negative y square and you can put on plus c right here if you would like and this is pretty much it. To write the solution for the exact equation, remember you can write it down as f of x, y equals to a constant. Just put a constant all the way at the end. So if you would like, you can put down c1 right here, up to you. But the function part is this. First, you know you have x squared, so let's write that down. And then plus the inverse tangent of x, y. And now you also know g of y is that minus y squared. Seriously, just put a constant to the other side. This is equal to c. If you want to put the x square minus y square together first for something like that, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, you can never satisfy everyone, so uh, this is it.